Hey guys, it's Jessica Hayes. So today I am going to be doing a catch up video with you guys. Uh, it's going to be kind of like a favorites and a little bit chatty as well. It's been a minute since I've done a favorites video and I've definitely accumulated lots of goodies between now and then that I am obsessed with. So this is going to be just like my other obsessions videos, some new favorite makeup products, uh, maybe some new jewelry, some music, uh, fashion and all of that fun stuff and just, just a good old chat as well. One thing that I have been trying for quite a while now, actually since, when did I buy this? I think I bought this in August last year. This is the Lush Dark Angels Scrub. I am in love with this. There's something that it does to my face if I've got a breakout or something going on if I use this. I usually use it three times a week, but if I use this, it usually clears up my breakout straight away. A velvety black sugar sh charcoal and something mud exfoliates, absorbs excess oil and brightens complexions. The nemesis of blocked pores. Totally agree with that. I did buy way too big of a container. You literally need just like the little baby one of this because it is uh, fresh ingredients and they do expire. So I have to get rid of this one already, but I definitely will be repurchasing that. And that says a lot because I kind of flip flop between skincare a lot. So for me to repurchase something like means that I truly, truly love it. And it's definitely working in my skincare routine. Only thing with this though, it's a pain in the ass to clean your shower afterwards because it's black and it gets everywhere. And pretty much 90% of the time that I come out with this, it looks like I've been working in a coal mine because it's really hard to scrub off your face as well. But needless to say, I love it and will be repurchasing. Last time that I was at the makeup show in November, I grabbed a few face brushes from Cosette and I was wildly impressed with the quality of them. I've been trying out different synthetic brushes from all different lines and these so far are my favorite eye brushes. So this one that I have here, the S175, that kind of replaces the MAC, I think it's the 224 brush. The big kind of poofy one. I also got these ones as well, just like a flat shader brush, a pencil brush, and then a brush that's just a little bit skinnier too. And then this little guy is my favorite. This is the S185. I love these kind of brushes for just blending out and diffusing underneath the eye. So if you are looking at getting into synthetic brushes or you're already into synthetic brushes, I would absolutely try out the Cosette brushes. I am a huge, huge fan. I picked these up when I was at iMats uh, a few weeks ago and just love them. Another thing that I purchased when I was at the makeup show was this Alice Fast. I don't know if that's the correct way to say it, but Alice Fast concealer pen. I kind of thought, I'm like, oh, this might be okay. It might be okay just to layer underneath because sometimes I like to do my concealer, then do my eyeshadow, and then pop just a little bit of concealer just under here. So I kind of thought it would be great for that or just to have in my bag as like a touch-up concealer pen. But this is actually great to use just on its own as concealer. I think the most comparable concealer on the US market for this would be the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, but I just love that it's in a little click pen. I did grab it at the makeup show. I can't remember how much I paid for it. I don't think that this is a very cheap brand. It is an Italian brand, I believe. Yes, made in Italy. This is a true like makeup artist brand. Um, so if you're interested in checking this out, I've heard great things about the foundation. I definitely will be purchasing some foundations from this line when I can get to the makeup show next. Another thing that I have been in love with for quite some time now is these Star Crushed Minerals highlighters. I actually forgot to put it on. So I'm going to go ahead and demo it for you with that Cosette face brush that I was talking about before. This is the S165 brush. My contour is a little strong. I'm just using my foundation brush to buff it back off. All right, so this is the highlighter birthday suit from Star Crush Minerals. Such a pretty color. There's tons of different colors. I have a few of them. I have birthday suit and another one called 
bare my soul both really easy to wear kind of nudie highlighters they also have a lot of highlighters that have different undertones in it as well so they have one that has like a greenish undertone and also one that has like a bluish undertone in it as well a pinkish undertone so these are loose dust highlighters you can really get a high impact highlight from these which I love check that out isn't that beautiful and what a great little brush as well for highlighter without getting it all over the face so this guy right here is another newbie for me this is the urban decay optical illusion so smoothing rose hip and argan oil pore perfecting this stuff works anytime i ever get any of this kind of stuff i always always just test it on one side of my face for the day and this stuff didn't make my foundation break up i find that a lot of these pore perfectors they do work in the beginning but then by the end of the day they kind of make your foundation look a little bit funky this stuff was like just a, a blurring tool it is quite thick so you only need like the tiniest little bit of little pump just to put it on the pory kind of areas like usually the center of your face another thing that i have absolutely been loving is this skindinavia makeup priming spray uh, i did watch a video a while ago from wayne goss and i have done this technique in a video since uh, what it is is wetting your beauty blender with the makeup priming spray and then patting it all over the face and then using that dampness from the priming spray in the beauty blender to apply the foundation and this just is meant to help your foundation stay on and yes that truly works apparently it's a tip from lady gaga's makeup artist so i've been using this trick lately when i need my foundation to be super long lasting and this shit is the bomb i'm telling you these little color fix babies whoa so i've been trying this one a lot lately i used it for um a new year's eve tutorial and i've basically just been using it for any time that i don't have a lot of time to get ready or i have to be ready super early in the morning and make it last all day because these 24 hour colors are serious 24 hour colors I have been using just one pump of this with my Furless PPB1 brush and then just buffing that all over the eyes, just kind of like a grungy, glittery look. And it doesn't smudge, it doesn't move, it doesn't come off. I wore it for so long one day, I think it was like 15 hours and I looked at myself in the mirror at the end of the day and I was like, whoa, this stuff is legit another new product that i am loving is this color that i have on my lips this is kat von d everlasting liquid lipstick and crucifix so i believe these ones are already out on sephora individually so these will be coming out in a nude bundle uh for the next few months kat von d are doing an everlasting flash and it will be the first wednesday of every month on sephora.com so these ones are coming out six different colors I already did a swatch and review on those six colors in this color crucifix so pretty I love it another new uh, <coughs> another product that I have been loving this is the cream color from Nabla this is called morning glory and I've been using it just on the lid of the eye with this look that I've been doing quite a bit lately pretty good dupe for MAC Paintly. I just like it because it's super creamy and very easy to spread. So I've been using this as my eye priming base lately a lot as well. And I just really like the color just by itself just for something for every day just to kind of cover up the coloring that you get on your eyelids if you don't want to just wear concealer. Another new love of mine is this ring that I got from The Great Frog. A few weeks ago, I was at I'm at in LA and I actually ended up getting food poisoning and I was kind of out for quite some time two days just in a blackout hotel room and then by the time Saturday rolled around and I went to urgent care and finally got some anti-nausea pills I managed to get out of my hotel room and go down to uh what is it sunset boulevard sunset boulevard yeah from melrose one of those cool shopping areas in la pretty much every time i go shopping in, in la i always just have the uber driver drop me at the great frog and then i just shop around that area there because usually there's like nasty girl and 
those other cool shops down there too. So I have had my eye on this bad boy for quite some time and finally I was like, screw it, today's the day, I'm gonna buy it. I went straight into the store, they had a size that fit me perfectly and I was like, done. So that was kind of a, a little treat yourself purchase for me. It looks really good with a bunch of my other rings as well and just great by itself. I really like them. their products. They are a little more on the expensive side but they're very, very well made and they're also the OG peeps to do the skull ring. Another obsession fashion wise is this bomber that I have on right now. I'll pop it like a little picture so that you can see the back of it. I got this from Long Clothing and I've been obsessed with it ever since. I just, this is like my day off jacket. It's so freaking comfortable and it's cute and stylish. It's just the right length. Um, it's not too short, like my bum's not poking out too much. It's just the perfect length bomber and it's just so comfy, a little bit oversized. It has this kind of print on the back of it um, and that was designed by Grace Neutral who I definitely have spoken about her in some other favorites videos. She's the girl that does the worldwide beauty videos on Vice and she's also an amazing hand poke tattooer in London. But yeah, this bomber has just been so comfy. I pretty much don't take it off for my days off. It's just stuck on me. Another favorite for me this month has definitely been the band Drab Majesty. We actually saw them a few nights ago with Cold Cave and they were super awesome. They're more of like an electronic kind of new wave sound. Definitely got that, you know, 80s vibe to it, which I really like. And they're like pretty cool to watch as well. The guys wear, I don't know if it's just crazy hair or crazy wigs, but full face paint makeup, which I can always appreciate some dudes that get down with some full face makeup for shows. Uh, just makes watching them just a little more interesting, I think. And as a makeup artist, I appreciate it. He had some kind of shiny metallic face paint on that it stayed on really well. So props to you, Drag Majesty, whatever you're using. Another favorite for me fashion wise, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know because I've been spamming the hell out of these new uh, prescription glasses from Valley Eyewear. These are the Depotism. With most of the sunglasses on the site, you can actually get them made into custom prescription frames. So I've just been eyeing this style off a lot and I was like, screw it. It needs to be in a prescription frame on my face. So these were a custom made sunglass from Valley Eyewear and I'm obsessed. Now anytime I go to put my normal-ish glasses on, like all the other Derek Cardigan ones that I have, I always feel so boring now because I'm just so used to wearing like big chunky black frames now. So I was recently sent 25 of the new Urban Decay Vice liquid lipsticks and then when they officially launched I went and purchased the other five that were in the collection. Uh, they're just not good. I was going to do a swatch video on them for me to swatch all 30 shades and murder my lips for a product that is just kind of meh is just not worth it for me. And every beauty blogger and their uncle has already done a review on them as well. I really, really love Urban Decay. They would probably be in my top five of favorite brands. So I expected so much more from these liquid lipsticks. I was so excited when I heard they were gonna come out. I was definitely going to purchase them whether or not I got sent them in PR or not. But basically I have been trying them for about a week now I've been trying different colors every day just so I can get a feel of how they actually are because as you know sometimes you can have one color in one line that's amazing and then you know maybe another color isn't so great uh, so the first one that I tried was this beautiful red color called trap queen and it stayed on so well. I ate pizza, I was drinking coffee, I did a podcast, which I'll also link in the description box below if you guys want to listen. It was with my personal trainer, so we talked about working out and makeup if you're interested in that. The first color that I tried was amazing. And then the next day I had a meeting uh, for an hour. I put this color studded on, which was like a brownish kind of metallic color and I was obsessed with the color straight away. 
Um, I ate a wrap, so not even anything oily, and drank a coffee. And by the time I got home, my lips just looked like it was embarrassing. I just couldn't believe that I'd been talking to someone for an hour and my lips were looking like that. So I thought that it was going to be the same consistency as the color that I'd worn the night before, but obviously not. So I was like, I'm going to hold off on making this video so that I can actually try quite a few of the colors and textures, the darker colors, the lighter colors, and see how they are. And they are just so hit and miss. I will eventually try most of the shades, uh, but one of the ones that I purchased myself was this beautiful blue metallic color called Time, and I was obsessed with the color when I first put it on. And then I ate, oh, I ate a veggie burger and some salads, so something not even oily. I have a picture that, which I'll pop right here. This is what it looked like after a salad. What I want to say about this product is if you love some of the colors, then go ahead, buy them from Sephora because they have a great return policy. And if they're duds, then return them. But just keep in mind that not all of the colors are great. I did try this one here, Amulet, and it lasted all day, literally all day on a Saturday, a busy day at work, talking a ton. It wasn't my favorite color in the collection. It was, it's a brick rose, but it had like a metallic kind of sheen to it. Definitely your kind of mother of the bride color. Yesterday I wore this one, Twitch, which was such a gorgeous color. And I was like, it's light enough. It should last pretty well. Pretty patchy and flaky. It felt all flaky inside here after I'd worn it for about two minutes. I really hope that Urban Decay kind of rethinks and reformulates the formula because yeah, like I said, they're one of my favorite brands, but this was just such a letdown. And I'm sorry if you guys wanted to see a swatch video about it, but I just wouldn't be able to confidently uh, tell you which ones were great. And I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but if you do, you'll know that I just recently picked up another service called microblading. If you haven't seen what it is yet, definitely Google it. It's definitely making a huge appearance in the beauty industry right now. What it is, is tiny little hair strokes tattooed into the brow. So it makes so that you don't have to fill your brows in every day. It's great for people that have totally overplucked their brows, maybe just have patchy brows. I definitely want it done myself, uh, just the fronts of my brows are a pain in the butt to fill in all the time. If you want to check it out, I have made a separate Instagram for that and it's called Jessica Hayes Brows and that is my microblading account. Also follow the master of microblading brows and that is Shaughnessy. She is one of the artists that I truly look up to in this art. She's been doing it for a really long time but if you're in Vancouver or LA, she is one of the artists that I have been recommending my clients to go to for years now. Microblading's been keeping my life pretty busy now. Uh, I've been working six days a week, including YouTube, so that's why my filming schedule has changed to uploading on Wednesdays now. Also doing all of the Kat Von D makeup trade shows as well, so that's really fun. The next one that we will be at is March. We'll be at the makeup show Orlando, so I'm super excited for that. That is Janina's hometown, so I can't wait to hang out in Florida with her. I've Never been to Florida before, so I'll be pretty excited to have some sunshine on my body after this Michigan winter, which I can't complain about because I think it's only about 40 outside now, so it's pretty warm. I'm going to stop babbling. I hope that you've enjoyed this little favorites, obsessions video from me. I love doing these. So yeah, I'll see you guys next Wednesday for my weekly video, and I hope that you have liked this and have an awesome week.